<laughs> Stop it! Why? They're I'm gonna start so shrieking at us. Classic movie, Winter Soldier. <laughs> On your left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? So, yeah, we're we're we're, we're post Avengers now. I got my my cap. Yeah. We are in a post Avengers universe. There's not another Avengers movie on the slate. Have you noticed that? No. We got we got the uh, what? There's Spider Man. Uh, yeah, Far From Home. I I without I can't get into spoilers right now, but it's gonna be weird considering the way we just left things. Everything's gonna be weird. It's just with the and thing. Like, we're definitely gonna have another Captain Mar- Marvel because that's still making piles of money. Do you know that Brie Larson is in the two top movies? Yeah, because Captain and Marvel made a comeback. It's still in box. Yeah. Everybody who couldn't get tickets to Endgame just bought tickets to Captain Marvel instead. They were like, fuck it, I'm seeing a superhero do something. So so now Brie Larson's in the top two movies in America. And everybody's mad at her because she <laughs> said Marvel should get with the gay people. <laughs> everybody's mad at her all over again. Oh, fuck them. She, she's right. She's got what's known as clout now. Right. Um, but every time she says a thing... Every angry man on the internet is like, oh, my balls. Uh, yeah, save it for and your podcast. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, well. My yeah. Looked so perfect, even in the ugly new uniform, which is ugly. <laughs> I'm so, I, I still can't get past... That kid on the TV called me a dickhead again. <laughs> it's my favorite part of the whole fucking movie. I don't remember that. Part. You don't remember? Oh my god! We're seeing it again tomorrow. Okay, well. <laughs> I don't remember that part. Do you remember that part? Which part? That kid on the TV called me a dickhead again. I don't no. remember that. Everyone in the comments right now is like, oh my god, how did you not remember that right now? Huh. 50% of them are saying that. 50% of that are, them are saying, spoilers! That's yes. true. That's true. You make your spoilers! Uh, fly right over to your house, rip off your arms, and shove them right up your butt! <laughs> uh, I'm calling his new uniform ugly because I want to see him with no uniform? Not true. I'm calling the uniform ugly because it's ugly. Mm. the two are not mutually exclusive well you're not going to see chris evans in that uniform again because he left he's left marvel that's not spoilers his contract's up he's gone (sighs) i know you're gonna have to pick a new one no i'm not (laughs) those movies still exist i have them all on amazon prime not anymore i will kill you i will poison your bourbon uh, well, I don't think new anything. Now that we've been we've been geeky and such for a little bit, it's time to uh, to get to the nonsense. And oh shit, we made it. We 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 aired last week. We we made Did we? A, we made a mistake. Uh oh. But first, let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience. Out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for the segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Where is the music? We're getting nothing. The music's not working. What the hell? It's all quiet. Um, well, you gotta do it mean girl style, guys. Crazy for feelings. So lonely. Oh, I can't sing like Patsy Klein though. We're having technical difficulties, but anyway. Live, everybody. But anyway, uh, it's so weird and serious without the music. It is, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we made we made a little error last week. Uh, do you remember the Easter Bunny story? Yes. And we were all like, "Yeah, that guy sticking up for the woman. Good, good dude." Uh oh. Little addendum to last week. Uh, this is like, yeah, um. <clears throat> Uh, Easter Bunny Brawler is Pascal Man and a fugitive from New Jersey. 
I knew it was New Jersey. I didn't, but you... that's amazing. I'm psychic. Antoine McDonald has gained national notoriety for fighting in an Easter Bunny costume in Orlando. He's also wanted in New Jersey and has a history of armed robbery. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, turns out the man in the suit is wanted in New Jersey in connection with a vehicle burglary last fall. He's also a person of interest in a carjacking and two armed robberies. So... Yeah, it also notes the uh, McDonald could have relished in his anonymity, but his face and identity hidden by the pink nose and tall ears, the bunny costume. But after the video went viral, McDonald spoke to multiple media outlets, including TMZ and Orlando's WKMG. So you, you're on the run from the law and you fumble your way into a viral video. When you break the Sokovia Accords, like Peter Parker did, you gotta wear a mask when you fight crime. <laughs> you do, you gotta wear a mask. Did Peter ever sign? I don't know no. if Peter ever signed. He oh, was well, a minor. We, that's one of the questions we've been waiting on, like... He's a minor! He can he sign? Yeah, it's... Anyway. Right, like, can he sign? Does Aunt May have to sign? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did Tony get him into? Because Tony's irresponsible. Very. But yeah, that's so we've got it. He gotta... created an Instagram profile, Bad Bunny of 19. That sounds like a very different he, Instagram he, profile. What, he yeah. wants, he, oh, no, no, no. You're good. Son, you're going to jail. Yeah. You're going to jail. You're, you're also, on. Also, I want to point out that this article, he could have relished in anonymity. That's. I mean, that's not technically an incorrect usage, but it's a very awkward syntax. So, yeah. It's very awkward phrasing, and I don't like it. I guess our, our, our take for our last, our last week, our praising this gentleman, um, we, we need to retract that yeah. just a little bit. We're going to have to take that back. Um, yeah, oopsie. Anyway, let's move on to something else. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Let's move on to something that is actually a little praiseworthy here. Um, God damn, I hate potholes. I hate them. I've driven in many many cities that have them, and they New York has got the worst fucking potholes. Yeah, but I had a pothole murder a tire last year. Like, fucking murder my tire. England has some shitty potholes, too. Well, um, this actually comes to us. Where's, where's this? Um, Middlesbrough. Uh, Middlesbrough, I guess that's how you say it. Um, Someone had a, a clever way of handling uh, the potholes on their street to get them repaired in a timely fashion. Draw dicks on it! Phallic symbols were sprayed around a number of potholes on roads in Middlesbrough earlier this week. Middlesbrough Council and a pot and a road mending team are at, already in the Ackham area acted to fix the phallus and door and potholes. Once it was made aware of them, President Brad Nicholson said the potholes have been there for more than a year, adding, quote, the power of the willy. <laughs> Public safety. Nah. Puritanism. They, they, it's fucking killing tires. It's wrecking suspensions. Right. It's costing people money. We don't care about that. But oh, my God, we might have to look at a dick. Might have to. Oh, God, someone drew a dick. Now, like horse draw dicks. Dicks are stupid looking. They are. That's like I'm sorry, fellas. I know you love your dicks, but they're stupid looking. What is it you always say? They look like they're made out of extra elbow skin. <laughs> yeah, it's testicles. Okay. Yeah. Like the scroll sack is like leftover elbow skin. They're not cute, so I don't want to see them all over the road either. But I'm just saying, like, priorities here. <laughs> oh, yeah, they couldn't get someone out to fix it for a fucking year. But the minute, the minute someone starts drawing dicks on the road. But we can't have that. <laughs> I wonder if this would work for other stuff. You know? Let's go and draw a dick on the White House. <laughs> I was wondering if that's where we were going. See, but the problem is then they would ID, they would Independence Day the White House. 
not the guy in it. Mm. It's not the house. It's the problem. That's true. That's true. I just that is that is the silliest thing. Yeah, when I when I used to work in a very wealthy little suburb, there was a little alley between two stores that led from the public parking lot to the shops where I worked. Mm. And like there was like this ongoing turf war on this one long section of wall between whoever was drawing four foot dicks <laughs> all the way down the length of the wall. And the police who had washed it off. And like <laughs> every couple of weeks, like they would wash off the dicks, the dicks would reappear. They would wash off the dicks, the dicks would reappear. It was like this ongoing struggle <laughs> in Rye, New York. Did they like take turns? Hey, Dave? Yeah, they uh they washed the dicks off again last night. It's your know. turn. It's your turn I, to go put the dicks back up. I okay. Found out who the dick bandit was. <laughs> But they were fucking diligent. <laughs> and they went all the way down this stretch of wall. It was a like a men's clothing store. So it was a pretty deep wall <sighs> down this little alley, all the way down. Giant four foot long dicks. <sighs> well, we have uh more shit and this This is like the worst drug. Okay, I say that we we had that what was oh I can't even remember what it was fucking called that was causing zombies in Florida. Bath salts? Bath salts, yeah. That was okay, that that's the worst one. But this one's not good. Why do you do why do people do this drug? Stop doing this drug. It's not a good drug for you. It's this is not a fun time drug. Meth? Yeah. Of course okay. of course it's fucking meth. It's always fucking meth. Meth smoking man, I was fighting the man in the mattress. I'm stuck in with the man in the mattress. Oh, yeah. I'm asking him not to take my man. <laughs> A Fort Walton Beach area man who admitted to smoking methamphetamines earlier in the day attacked a bedroom mattress with a bedpost and his bare hands, believing a man was hiding inside it. Okay. Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office deputies were called to the home uh, after the man's girlfriend, girlfriend who had refused to, uh, he had refused to let leave the bedroom, was able to escape and call for assistance. His girlfriend told deputies uh, Felipe Oquendo began acting erratically, thinking she was cheating on him with a man in the mattress. That is fucking kinky. He stabbed the mattress with a bedpost, ripped it apart with his hands. All right, now, first off, I want you all to just for a minute, think of your mattress, your bed mattress. I'm not talking about if you're doing like inflatable or if you got a futon mattress. I'm talking like one of those big ass Serta motherfuckers. Yeah. Those are sturdy. They've got, got like one of those purple mattresses, so I don't even think that would work. They've got like those metals fucking springs in there and yeah. all this. There's an infrastructure in your goddamn mattress. <laughs> To, take, to be able to tear that apart with your bare hands. That's like berserker strength. Um, he had locked the bedroom door, would not allow his girlfriend to leave, but while he was moving the mattress around, she was able to unlock the door. How did you think he was hiding inside the mattress? How does that even work? Did, Doesn't did, make sense. Was there like a little hole cut out and he would wait he, wait for you to go and then, you know, just stick... Is she it. fucking the Flash and he can phase through matter? <laughs> That's... What? I said it is possible to fucking Flash. I mean, she could be fucking the Flash, I guess. I just... If you're on meth, that makes as much sense as anything else. It's not a good drug. No, every time we hear one of these stories... Who has a good... No one see... I know. No, I've never seen one of these where someone's saying, I had a good time on meth, everything was fine, and we were all okay. No one has a good time on meth. It's always regret. You know they gotta buy a new mattress, and those are not cheap. No. It, it, all, after, all meth leaves you with is regret. That's all it ever does. Regret and destroyed property. Oh, and here's... We have yet another one on this fucking theme that never seems to end. <laughs> <Mystery>. <laughs> Say what? 
<laughs> Damn it, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Barry. That's a great show. Damn it, Barry on the CW. <laughs> I missed this whole season, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, so I didn't see the mattress episode. So in, in a in a running theme here, we, we move from meth to this shit again. Because apparently this is I, I guess for as long as as we're gonna go along, as long as we have chimneys, we're gonna have motherfuckers getting stuck in them. Yeah. It's just one of those things. Tulsa man was arrested on a burglary charge Monday after firefighters pulled him out of a chimney at an East Tulsa business. Police arrested Keenan Holmes, 23, on Monday morning after he spent most of the night wedged in the chimney at Durango Auto Center. Holmes, who has prior convictions for burglary and unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, was booked on complaints of second-degree burglary, malicious injury to property, possession of burglary tools, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Can I what? point something out? Yeah. The top of that article is his mugshot. It's real big, right? Yeah. Scroll down to the vid yet. Uh, see, why, I did they, why did they pixel out his face? I, I don't know. I have the video blocked, but yeah, that, that's weird. His face is pixel out in the, pixelated out in the video underneath his mugshot. What happened there? You're not protecting him. Between midnight and 1 a.m., Holmes broke into Floyd and Son's body shop. Uh, he used power tools to cut the wiring of the business before moving down the street and climbing on top of the Durango business. Once on top of the building, Holmes reportedly dropped down the chimney, leaving a power saw on the roof. He then became stuck and stayed there until employees arrived later in the mo morning to hear him moaning. Hell no. Firefighters used pulleys to lift him out of the chimney. What? Have you ever been the employee that opens the store by yourself? Yes, long ago. Because I yes. have. Yeah. And if I heard moaning from inside the walls, <laughs> my ass would go home. <laughs> I'd be like, this place is haunted. I only make $10 an hour. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't nope. get paid enough for this shit. Nope. I don't. Nope. 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 You Someone else's problem. You on your own. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I'm going down to Piggly Wiggly to get some salt. Nope. <laughs> what just... Why is it when people... What have we done that we've instilled in people that the, the chimney is a method of ingress? Santa? This is all Santa's fault. This is all fucking Santa. Fucking Santa. We secularized Christmas. And this is this is what we have to do. This is our penance. Which we stole from the pagans anyway. But that's another story. Another story. Um, let's move on to some more I got in trouble last week for saying we stole Easter from the pagans. Uh, you didn't get in trouble. You just started off comments. Comments aren't trouble, they're just don't I got yelled at by the YouTubers. <laughs> fuck you fuck comments. I don't give a fuck about comments. Fucking YouTube fucking comments, fucking shit. Yeah. Next up, we have one of the. Uh, and if you're a Flor if you're a Floridian, you can uh, you you can say this is one of the um, the very Florida experience. This next story, I I, I kind of had this myself when I lived there for one misbegotten year. Um, this is not how you want. It's not how you want to end your evening. Aggressive gator bangs on glass door of woman's home. Was he on meth? No, but here, just check the video out. Look at this little bastard. Come on, play. 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 I said play. Play. Will it work? <gasps> Let's get... Will, will either of these fucking videos work? There we go. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> She's inside saying no. Yeah, it's the, the damn gator is banging on a door. Excuse me, miss. Can I, can I come in? Do you have time to hear about our savior, Godzilla? <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, you the cats? Excuse me. Do you have any small pets that I could eat? <laughs> Look at that shit. Hi, how you doing? How's it going? 
Can, can I borrow a couple <laughs> poodles? He's so cute, though. He is. He's like, hi. Excuse me, hello. Hello. Uh, a Flagler County woman came home to an unexpected guest banging on her glass door. Donna Heiss says she pulled into her garage at her house when her neighbors yelled at her to get inside. That's not a good sign. Uh, Heiss found an alligator against her glass door and side lights. Trapper responded to the scene and said the gator was between seven and eight feet. I said she was nervous the gator was going to break her window and her dog was also scared. Yeah. This is a thing that happens down there. And I've, I've mentioned this before, where I used to live in Florida, in, uh, I was in Tampa, and um, I was in a little, one of those little apartment complexes where they have like little buildings and everybody's split into their own little, um, and there was a big water, like a pond or, you know, out back, full of fucking alligators. They had signs up that said fucking alligators. And... They were like, it was like... Is that what the sign said? Yes, sign said fucking alligators. <laughs> fucking alligators. Fucking alligators, man. Don't fucking swim here. 20, at least not 20 feet from my back door, which was a sliding glass door. There's fucking alligators just hanging out. At any time, they could have come right to the door. That's so scary. That's a thing in Florida. That's not okay. I didn't even get a rent you know, discount for the fucking alligators. Like, I, I know someone that lives in Florida, and she posts videos of, like, iguanas hanging out in her backyard, and that's kind of cool. Just, like, big old iguanas hanging out in her yard, and wild peacocks. Gators? Fucking alligators! No, thank you. God, goddamn throwbacks from the Cretaceous just hanging right. out in your I yard. I don't need to live in Jurassic fucking Park. I mean, yeah, he was very... My cats. Oh, my God. Can you even imagine? <laughs> Which one would want to fight the gator? Peggy. Peggy yeah. would try to fight the gator. Get, get her old Actually, Dottie, song. too. Dottie would be at the door telling off the gator. <laughs> Dottie would be at the door like, Marrr. Get off my property, motherfucker. I think I mentioned once the neighbor cat was up on our deck one morning. <laughs> I was in our bedroom at the other end of the house. Just Dottie growling at the door at the other end of the house, woke me from a sound sleep. That's how loud that little cat can growl. <laughs> I thought somebody was dying. I come out and the neighbor's cat is at the, on the deck and she's like all puffed out like, and Peggy's behind her like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> she'll kick your ass, man. <sighs> that's, that's just, that's not something you want to fucking come home to. No. Oh, speaking of things you don't want to come home to. Well, part of me was like, oh, I would leave food out. Because it's me. And it's a terrible idea. <laughs> so, <clears throat> story, story time. Uh-oh. Since Terry usually tells the stories, this is one you'll appreciate. My grandfather and my grandmother had a very interesting relationship. My grandmother was pretty naive and really... Like you expect your grandmother to be. My grandfather was a little bit of a hellion. Um, my grandmother was feeding the geese in Florida that lived in their canals. And my grandfather was throwing chicken to the gators. And then the geese went away. And we're pretty sure that the geese became food for the gators because my grandfather was feeding them chicken. <laughs> That's a horrible story. That is a horrible fucking story. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Circle of life, baby. Circle of life. To be fair, That's geese a are... Horrible story. <laughs> to be fair, geese are the worst. They are the fucking worst. They're but still... Geese are assholes. But... Next up... The best grandpa? <laughs> you have no idea. You see the picture in our living room of his grandpa with a boat with a plane engine on it. <laughs> Moving on. So, um, there are a lot of ways to handle difficulties in your relationships. You can uh, do therapy, counseling individually. You could, Dunk on you know, each other on an internet show. Yeah. Take classes. Um, one thing you do not involve to improve your relationship, and that is the fucking police. <laughs> I'll give you the story here. I was going to say Maury. <laughs> 
Around 9 a.m. Wednesday, Millbrook police received a call from a woman who reported a burglary in progress at her home, except there was no burglar. What appeared to be a routine burglary call turned out to be a failed attempt by a Millbrook, a Millbrook woman, 33-year-old Amber Lewis, to use police to spook her husband, who she believed was having an affair. The ruse backfired, uh, besides charging Lewis with making a false report to law enforcement. And this, this is the special part. Officers located what appeared to be marijuana, cocaine, and other drugs throughout the house. <clears throat> so, thought her husband was fucking around, called the cops, and they showed up because they thought it was a burglary, and it wasn't. It doesn't. How was it supposed to spook her husband? What, like the cops are going to come and knock on the door? What? I mean, all he could say was, yeah, that's my wife. It's not his wife. They don't give a shit. They're the cops. You're, you live well, in the house. Fucking around on your wife isn't illegal. No, it's not. And if you're not a burglar, we, we got called that there was a burglary happening here. Oh, nope. there isn't. Nope. See you later. Bye-bye. That's a terrible plan. That is a terrible plan. And it's an even worse plan than when you do it. You have cocaine in your house. If you're going to do that, you report that he kidnapped that woman. <laughs> no, Tara, no. With a bunch of drugs. No, that's not helping. Because that's really hard for him to disprove. It's not helping. You got to be smart. We keep seeing all these people who come up with these like clever ploys to ensnare the police. Into their World's full of wily fucking coyotes, man. I know. It's a world of wily coyotes. I just with, with Acme bomb kits. Why in the you're doing the illegal shit? You don't want the police in your life. Yeah, you generally mm. want them far away, right? From your drug stash. Jesus Christ. Uh chemical endangerment of a child oh yeah they had they have a five-year-old and and they had drugs in the house so you're a five-year-old and your answer to marital infidelity is to bring the cops over to your yeah. drug den where you have your five-year-old this is gonna work out great you're a mess <laughs> Speaking of messes, uh, if you th we can top this one. Our final story this week is we can definitely... Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Fellas, I know when it's over, it can be painful. But you can hold on for way too long. This, however, is not, not how you handle this shit. Mexican man tracks himself in hole dug to spy on his ex. Oh. A man in northern Mexico had to be rescued after he accidentally tracked himself in a hole that he dug so he could spy on his former girlfriend in violation of a court order to stay away from her. Sonora State Attorney General's office said the 50-year-old man spent days digging the hole only to become trapped and require assistance to get out. The man had been ordered to stay away from his former girlfriend uh, and is now in jail. The newspaper said the man dug a tunnel under the woman's house. It said the woman told police that over the course of the week she heard scratching noises, assumed the noise was cats. No. No, cats don't, don't do that. No. They don't. Cats are not tunneling creatures. <laughs> But when the sound grew louder, she investigated and found her former partner of 14 years trapped below. She said she ended the relationship because her partner was very jealous. No shit! Police say, the, police say the man appeared intoxicated and severely dehydrated once they got him out of the tunnel. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's break this down. So, your girlfriend leaves you. Gets away from you. Gets a court order. <clears throat> and your response is, I know I will dig a tunnel. 
This will solve it. What is what is your closer here, Chief? Yeah, where is this gonna go? What's what's your end? What's your strategy on this one? You know, because if if it's like I will dig a tunnel and then and then I will have booze. I will have booze in the tunnel. But no water, though. No water. And then? How long, how long do you think he had to spend digging a goddamn tunnel under someone's house? I'm a little concerned that she didn't notice for as long as that took. Days. Like, I'm not one to go investigating shit in the yard. Like, if there's weird shit in the yard, I definitely tell Dan about it. Especially after I found the falcon that was murdered by a bigger bird in the yard. Like... So that's definitely his domain. Like, a weird thing happened outside. Go look at that, manly man. <laughs> I don't deal with wildlife or burglars. Thank you very much. Okay. But you'd think... Over the course of a week. There's... Right. Have you had cats scratching at your foundation before? <laughs> if not, something's up. Like, wouldn't you at least have called, like fucking Terminix or something? <laughs> animal, like, if you think it's cats, animal control? So, hello, animal control? Yes, there are cats tunneling under my home. What's that? That's not a thing cats do. Uh, oh, Good cats to know. Well, something tunneling underneath my home. Also, I love this guy. Of course, I'd feel bad for animal control when they get there and be like, man, this is not our department. <laughs> One of the things you don't want to do when you are digging a tunnel underground all by yourself is be drunk doing it. Because that's a... This story could have ended completely differently. Like, you know, all of a sudden the noise stopped and she never knows why. It all started. <laughs> that thing could have caved in on him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the all, just one day the noise has stopped. And then years and years later, someone else buys the house and there's a fucking skeleton in this makeshift basement under the fucking house. That's what could have happened. You idiot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, God, just, what? Don't do these things when you're cut. I just, I don't get it. It could have worked and he could have fucking murdered her. I don't think that was the plan, though. Because, you know, I don't that was... know, if he was willing to violate the restraining order and dig a tunnel, if that was the plan, he could have bust. I think he had like this elaborate, like spying kind of uh, thing going yeah, on. If he's willing to do that, it can escalate. It can't escalate. Like, that's some red flags. It is. is it is. That's true. It's just, I don't understand what his thought process was. It's like, I will dig a tunnel and then. She will love me again. <laughs> because tunnel. Because she it's will see my mole-like industriousness. It's obvious. It's 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 and tail as mole. Tail as old as time. Beauty and the mole. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess yeah. The first thing you need to do is once it's over, you need to get into counseling. You gotta move on. Yeah. Not into spelunking. That's when there's court paperwork involved. You're not going to get her back, man. No. It's over. Bye bye. It's bye bye time. Um, we've learned that. Do not try to ensnare the police in your cunning ploy. No. <laughs> it never. We have seen this happen many times and it has so never worked. It never works. Ever. Um, I wonder. I really wonder if Americans actually understand what the police do. <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of Americans just don't understand what their job is. Like, it's not their job to get more chicken nuggets at McDonald's. No. Or to yell at your husband for cheating on you. No. Or to get your money back from your drug dealer. No. None of those things are their job. None and people seem to think that they are. None of those are the police job. That's not how the, that's not how that works. No. That concerns me. Learn that Florida is full of dangerous things and also gators. Yeah. 
just they just walk up to your house. Hi, how you doing? Hi. Um can I buy a cup of sugar? <laughs> Learn that Santa is the worst person. Santa is a terrible role model. He is, because every we keep having people look at a chimney and go, I can get in there. And they never can. They never can. Um and we've learned yet again that uh, meth is the worst possible drug. Worst drug. Worst. And finally, we've learned that the uh, apparently the solution to a problem is to draw a dick around it. Who knew? I'm going to start using that more in life. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> 